Hello everybody, it's Jess here with Bless Jess. Thank you so much for watching. Welcome to this week's grocery haul and meal plan video. I will be showing you everything I got tonight at Aldi and Walmart. Um, we also got HelloFresh, so I'll show you the recipe cards of the meals we got. I thought they were right here, <laughs> if I can find them. I will show them to oh, you. Okay. They're on the counter. Oh, they're underneath all the stuff, okay. I was not ready for the for the recipe <laughs> to show <Clearly>. you. <laughs> Welcome, if you're new. Welcome, real life here. So, um, we were out of milk. I was hoping to make it to like tomorrow or Wednesday before I had to go to the store, but we were out like completely out of milk. We were completely out of some produce and stuff. So I went ahead and went tonight. I also needed a lot of non-food items. So I spent over $50 on non-food. So really low actual grocery total. The grocery total, I spent $20 at Aldi and I spent $85 at Walmart, although that included that $50. So really I spent like $50 on food and $50 on Walmart, on a non-food. About, about that's what it is. Maybe a little bit more on food. Right, 55 total, huh? <laughs> Right around $100. I'll just say that. 105 I think is what it ended up being. But like I said, like $50 of that was non-food items. Teacher appreciation this week. I always want to give back to the teachers and we just needed some extra stuff. So Aldi and Walmart. I did make my meal plan. I didn't have time to do it all fancy or anything. So our plans for breakfast, I'm really trying to get into making some more homemade options that aren't so expensive. So we have plenty of eggs. I was going to do eggs and we have some bacon. Um, I ha Ooh, <laughs> I just shipped it to the oven. I have bagels. I have oatmeal. I've been doing oatmeal a lot um, for the kids. We have pancakes. I'm going to be making Lucy some mini muffins instead of buying them. Hopefully she likes those just as good. We have French toast and we have cereal bars. We keep it super simple at breakfast. For lunches, I'm gonna send David, we have a bunch of leftover taco stuff from our nacho cell if you watch those vlogs. So we're gonna have taco salads, leftovers, wraps, and um, just like a snacky lunch if I run out of stuff. Um, and the kids, they have their normal lunches already. I have stuff for that. Okay, so Monday night, that's tonight. As I'm filming this, we had taco salads. We're going to be eating several meals of tacos because we had some leftovers we're trying to use up. Tomorrow, I'm going to make the potato soup that was on our recipe. I mean, it was on our meal plan like a week or two ago. <laughs> I have the potatoes. They're still good. So I'm going to try my best to get the potato soup. It is a Instapot recipe. I should be able to do it early on so that we can still do our jewelry show on Tuesday night and me not run out of time to cook dinner. That's the plan. Wednesday, um, I'm going to make some enchiladas. I thought I could use that leftover taco meat and roll it into enchiladas. That's my plan. We'll see how that turns out. And, and, and a side salad. That'll be um, after church on Wednesday. And then Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, we're having HelloFresh. Of course, the kids won't. I have their normal type foods stocked up. So we'll just feed them, you know, their normal stuff. You guys watch enough of our dinner videos, you kind of know what the kids eat. So here's the meals I picked out from HelloFresh. This is not sponsored by HelloFresh. If you want the discount link, it is down below. You get a box for $40 off. And um, so you get the whole box for like $20. It's three meals for two people. It's an amazing deal to just try it out and see if you like it. Everything comes pre-portioned, ready to cook. They walk you through step-by-step -step with the instructions. It's so easy. So the three meals I picked out were this Hall of Fame pasta parmesan with zucchini, Tuscan herbs, and marinara sauce. This is a vegetarian meal, um, but I wanted to try it because it was a, a Hall of Fame recipe. So we'll see how it is. It looks good. So we'll see. This one we had a long time ago and it was really good. It was a lot of work to cook though, so I need to make this on like the weekends or something. This is the Hawaiian chicken poke bowl with pineapple, coconut cashews, and sriracha cream. This was so good. We had this, gosh, it's probably been over a year ago. It was really, really good. So when I saw it come around again, I grabbed it for this week. And then last but not least, we've had this one several times. The, um... Crispy cheddar frico cheeseburger with caramelized onion jam and roasted broccoli. So we'll probably have this um, as the easy. This one cooks up real fast. So maybe this will be one of our really busy, busy night meals. Okay, so I'm going to show you real quick what we got at Aldi, what we got at Walmart. I really just want to do a one-stop shop, but there's certain things now that we are Aldi, <laughs> Aldi or nothing, because like Lucy's pepperoni. I have to get it from Aldi. She will not 
eat any other kind. So let me turn the camera on. Let me show you what I got today. All right. So I just like to say, I think I did pretty good um, considering everything I got for, um, oops, sorry, for like $100. So let me show you what I got. Let's start with the Aldi stuff first. I went ahead and got Nate two boxes of his cheese crackers. We've been going through these so fast. I don't know if he's in a growth spur or what the deal is, but these are just going so fast. So I went ahead and got two boxes. And for Lucy's mini muffins, I got these to try. I had a lovely subscriber, subscriber and friend tell me about these double chocolate muffins. And they look really good. I know they look more like dessert than anything, but um, they look delicious. And she said that she freezes them and stuff. It was $1.99. And this is a huge box. I mean, they make probably a ton of the mini muffins. Um, so we got these to try this big thing of oatmeal I really just needed for the container I'm working on a jewelry display and I need a big oatmeal container but I will still use these I love oatmeal and I love making stuff with oatmeal so I really needed the container but we'll use up everything this is like a dollar fifty peppers were on sale and these are huge ones huge Lucy's gonna be so excited so the red yellow and orange peppers I forget how much they were. They were like $2.39 or something like that. The strawberries looked really good today. $1.49 each. I got two. And I wasn't planning on a mango, but these were $0.49 cents and it looks huge and delicious. So I got one. Um, they were out of regular carrots and their organic carrots are about the same price as Walmart's regular carrots. So I went ahead and just got the organic. They are not that much more at Aldi. Lucy was out of bow ties. She asked me to get more, so I got some of those. They were 79 cents. That's a great deal. And then, of course, the reason I went, her turkey pepperoni, this girl, she loves this stuff. And the last thing I got at Aldi was the kids are loving these. Okay, so these are little juice boxes, but they're only $1.89 or $1.49. They're, they're just a little bit over a dollar. I know for sure they're under $2. And so that makes them less than a quarter each. And they only have 4.23 ounces in there. So it's like the perfect size for them to have juice. I don't like the kids having a lot of juice throughout the day. And um, I bought some of the fruit punch the other day and they love it. So I thought I would get some of the um, Big Birds apple juice. And this is a great brand. It's Apple and Eve. I'm not sure why it's at Aldi, but <laughs> it's good for another year. And it was a really great price. So I probably should stock up on that. But I just got one for now because we really don't have room in the fridge. So all that stuff I showed you was $20.02. I thought that was a great deal. Okay, so that means everything over here is $85. Let me show you what I got. I got Nate some more vanilla yogurt. He's really been loving just the plain vanilla yogurt lately. He goes through phases of different kinds. So this was a good price. I just got this. It's $1.23 for four of them. This is something I like to have on hand. And I took the last one the other day. So I had it on the list to refill. This is just the Pepsi, the off-brand Pepsi. So I got just a small bottle of that. We were out of American cheese. So I got one of those. Aldi was out of a lot of the stuff I was trying to get. They, I was going to get crinkle cut fries for the kids at Aldi and they were out. So just got them at Walmart. I got my milk at Walmart. Just got some 2% today. And I've been wanting honey mustard. I don't know. I've been craving it on salads or with carrots or something. And I haven't had any in a while. And so I saw the Great Value brand for like 82 cents. So I thought I would try it. I don't know if I've ever had their honey mustard. It looks good. Okay, another thing Aldi was out of was half and half. They were completely out. So I was like, oh, no problem. I'll get it at Walmart. Well, <laughs> the only one Walmart had is this huge container. This is like a half gallon of half and half. So it's good to like the end of June. Hopefully I'll use it up before then. If not, I'll find something to cook with or do something to use it up. But I needed more half and half. I'm completely out. I found a soup marked down. This is one of David's favorite soups. It is a chicken cheese enchilada flavor. It's just a little bit dented. That's why they marked it down. I'm sure it's still fine. It's not, <laughs> it's not botulism because it's just a dent. It's not expanded. You never want to buy something that's expanding, but it's just a little bit dented. So it was 33 cents off. It's the chicken cheese enchilada flavor progressive soup. I wanted to make the kids a pizza this week. So <laughs> Nothing wants to focus for me. It is just the Walmart Great Value Pizza Sauce. That's a great value for a dollar. 
you got that. I got some Caesar salad for those enchiladas. I thought we could have a salad on the side. I like buying the Caesar salad kits. Even if we don't use the Caesar dressing, the lettuce just looked better tonight for some reason. We also got some more shredded lettuce for our taco salads. For the enchiladas, I like the old El Paso red enchilada sauce. This is the best ever. It's so good. Um, and I just use the recipe that's on this one. Yeah. This recipe that's on the back of the box, the back of the can, is the Easy Beef and Chili. Nope, that's not the one I use. I use the one that is basically the same thing. I just don't put chilies in it. I think the, re the original recipe is on the smaller can. But I like this big can. It really makes a big pan of enchiladas that we can have leftovers. So I got a big thing of enchilada sauce. Okay, this stuff is for teacher appreciation on... Wednesday, they have to bring a school supply. So I found these really cute printables that says like, you left your mark on me or something that we're gonna use to put with these. So these were dry erase markers with built-in erasers. And I think they said they were magnetic. I'm not sure, maybe not. But they have little erasers on the tip and they're really cute little different color pen, uh, dry erase markers. So I got them these and then I each got them a post-it note set and I'm gonna tie these up with twine and give them as their gifts to their teachers. One for Nate's teacher, one for Lucy's teacher. So each one of these was like $4. And then each one of these is $2. So for $6, I feel like I got a nice little gift. It'll be really cute with a little printable. So for Lucy's muffins, I have a regular muffin tin, but she doesn't really, I don't know. I feel like it's just too much for her. So I thought I would try getting this mini muffin tin. I've been wanting one of these anyway. This was like $6.83, but it's a great investment if I can start making the muffins and or not have to buy those little bites are expensive. Okay, I have now switched over from all other tortillas and I'm only buying these. They are so much better. They don't stick together. The Aldi ones stick together for me and then they rip and the kids don't like them like that. <laughs> so I feel like we just waste them. And I've had actually mold grow on them really fast and I've never had that problem with these, the Mission brand. And I priced them today. If you buy this big package, which we will go through before they expire, uh, that they don't expire till G the end of June or the beginning of June, we still will, no wait. Yeah, like the middle of June is when these expire. We will go through them. The kids eat a ton of tortillas. And um, if you buy the big package, it's cheaper per tortilla than buying the great value kind. So I like these the best. They are super soft. They don't have problems with them molding or anything like that. So we have changed over for this huge entire, I think it's like 40, yeah, 40 count. It's like $3.83 and it's totally worth it. Okay, my mother-in-law had a great idea. Grammy had a great idea. Friday teacher appreciation is give your teacher a hug day, which is great. We definitely want to give them a hug, but I thought it'd be cute. She suggested maybe getting some hug kisses and putting a little note on those. I thought it was a great idea. So I found two bags of hugs. I always want to get back to the teachers and let them know how much we appreciate them. Both the kids were out of, I don't know why I'm out of breath, you guys, I'm sorry, I'm talking too fast, uh, both the kids were out of all of their soap body wash stuff, so this may be weird, but I've tried lots of different things for Lucy's skin, and nothing works as, as good as baby wash for her, she's almost five, I realize, but all the other like kid washes like break her out um, and they're not cheap. This is like $1.83 for this nighttime. I love the lavender scent and it has a pump. It's really easy for her to wash herself with it. And I don't know, maybe we'll just, I don't know. I feel like they don't have a great variety of kid wash right now. And this is really cheap and it works good on her skin and it's tear free if she gets it in her eyes. So we just go with the parent's choice um, tear-free calming nighttime baby bath, <laughs> even though she's five almost. For Nate, this is the shampoo he uses. You guys know Nate has very sensitive skin and this was recommended by his dermatologist. It's wash and shampoo. He does really well with this and so it's expensive. It's like eight dollars but I went ahead and got that just because we know it works good. However, I am trying something new with his uh, body 
body soap. We normally have been buying the Vanna Cream bars. However, those are super expensive. Um, I got all three of these for less than the price of one of those bars, and they're very hard to find. Even online, they're expensive. The cheapest place I could find them is CVS or Walgreens, and they're like four and five dollars a bar. So, I saw these Dove fragrance-free bars and I thought, you know what, maybe this would be just as good. There's no dye, there's no fragrance, so I think it should be fine. Three bars, just a few dollars, so we're going to try that. Hopefully it does okay. If not, we'll go back to the other stuff. I am working on some paparazzi stuff, like that's what this is for. And if you guys don't know, I sell $5 jewelry. And I'm working on like a to-go bag to sell on the go. And I just thought having a little calculator, this is a dollar, having a little calculator to make quick <laughs> um, tax add, you know, adding stuff together and all that would just help to have a little calculator. I, I know I have my phone, but just if I needed this, I'll have it in that little bag and it's pink. So I got that. Um, Lucy has been needing some shirts. All of the ones I thought would fit her this summer, uh, she's outgrown. She's definitely in a five now, and I thought she would be in a four for a little while. So I saw this. It was $4.98, and it says, Girls Can Change the World. I thought it was really cute. I love this blue color on Lucy. So I just went ahead and got it. It's a 5T. I was wanting a Diet Coke, and instead of spending extra money on a 12 pack, I just thought, hey, let me just grab a single. It's only, it's a little bit more expensive to buy it this way because it's $1.88 for one, but portion control and hopefully it'll help me drink more water the rest of the week. I also got some bananas. I like buying them at Walmart. And then as I was at Walmart, I found this stuff on sale. I still think the Aldi one's a better price because you get more in a package, but I thought this would be good for the pantry. It's 14.75 ounces, and it's the Betty Crocker chocolate chip muffin mix, and it was on sale for $1.70. It's still within date till January, so we'll definitely use it up. And I also got David his Dider to Pepper with Cherry. You wanted me to look for the new flavor, like the dark berry, I think it is, but they didn't have it, so I just got the regular cherry one. All right, you guys, I'm out of breath. Did I miss anything? I think that is everything. Thumbs up if you think I did good getting all these teacher gifts, a muffin pan, all that body wash and stuff is so expensive. I did all of, I did pretty good staying in budget and I didn't buy too many groceries. Hopefully we can make what we have last and hopefully like making a few things like this will save our grocery budget a little bit. Anyway, that is it for tonight. If you like this video, you know what to do. Give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Please subscribe if you're new. We will see you guys all later. Bye everybody. I lose my breath.